Um, okay, so some of you wanted a video of how to do stick and pokes, so I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna stick and poke myself today. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a few things. So we'll start with um, the area that you're gonna be in, wherever it is, you're gonna want it to be clean. So there are a couple different ways that you can um, clean your area. One way that you can clean your area, which is a really good way, is something called Clinel wipes, which is just like a really good disinfectant. So you'll just want to wipe your area. So yeah, uh, the other thing you're going to want to do is use some kind of like alcohol, rubbing alcohol spray. So I mix rubbing alcohol and distilled water and I just spray it on my surface so that um, when I cover it in saran wrap, which you're going to want to do, it sticks really well. Um, and then you're going to want to make sure that you have gloves um, and you're going to obviously want to wash your hands and have hand sanitizer. That's pretty much all that you're going to need for cleaning. Um, if there's anything that I forget, I'll show you along the way. But so now I'm going to do that and um, you can see what that looks like and then we'll move on to stenciling. pretty much what you need to do to have a clean environment. Um, you don't want to infect the area with dirty things like maybe pens and stuff. So for the stencil, I, for, I would like would typically do that first on here, but I'm going to do it somewhere else um, just so I don't mess up this area. So I would definitely suggest always using a stencil if you can just because it's so much easier and your lines are going to come out way cleaner if you have an idea of where you're going with your needle. So this is the design. I'm doing on myself. For your first one, I would choose something not as detailed. Is this focused? So that is what I'm going to be stenciling. I use this type of stencil paper, which is kind of like carbon almost, where you will take your design and you just put it on this paper and you will trace over it with a pen. Uh, and then the ink from the carbon will go on the back and then you just put that on yourself and the other type of stencil that's um definitely i'd say more affordable would be this type and for this it comes with three layers that you're going to be working with so the first layer is just like flimsy wax paper and then there's this paper here that just fell out and this you actually you just throw this away and then you'll see this kind of like glossy ink and you're just going to put it down like that and then you're going to do the same thing with this where you put your paper or your stencil your photo on there and you draw over it but instead of the ink being on the back it's just going to be on this paper so you'll rip off your design okay so yeah this is the stencil i'll use i'll quickly grab a clipboard and show you what it looks like but really essentially what you're doing is literally just tracing your design um i like to use this pen i love to use this pen actually it's kind of like pointy and sharp um but like it's uh you want a ballpoint pen so that it will roll with your design because that's kind of helps the ink you can also use a pencil the ink stick my sentences were jumbled there but that's fine you get the point um okay so i will start showing you how the stencil works i also forgot to mention that um, a lot of artists use green soap which is great i have some coming in the mail because need to get on that um, it's just really gentle on the skin it's great for wiping away the excess ink while you're tattooing which I'll show you later um, and then it's also good to clean the skin along with disinfecting the skin because it just gets rid of all the oils and stuff um, so yeah green soap and then for the shaving you're gonna want to use a clean razor of course uh, make sure it hasn't been used one thing you'll notice is that your back will start to hurt <laughs> once you start tattooing a lot just because you're well I hunch really badly um, I guess if you have good posture, your back won't hurt. Also, this chair that I'm sitting on used to be an Ikea chair, but then I leaned back on it, like, a little. I swear, I barely leaned back on it, and it snapped, and it, like, cut my back open. So now it's just a backless chair, which I guess is a stool. Um, so yeah, that might be why my back hurts. You don't need a lot of this stuff. Um, you're going to take it. Um, okay, yeah, but you're just going to want to apply that. So yeah, not too crazy of an amount that should be good and then you will take your stencil I like to rip mine because I don't have scissors 
Okay, when you think about the spot that you're putting your stencil on, you're gonna want to think of like how your body moves. So, um, like if your arm's twisting, the stencil or the tattoo might twist with it. So if you care about that, just keep it in mind. Make sure that after you put the stencil on, you test it out. But I am going to put this stencil on myself now. Hopefully, it goes well the first time. Ah, shoot. Oh, golly, badly. Yeah, you want to, like, check your stencil after putting it on. Firstly, you're going to want to let it dry. Um, and then when you, like, move your arm, does it, like, twist with it? Does it distort at all? Um, it's fine if it does. Some people don't care. Some people really care. We can move on to actually tattooing and getting the ink in the skin and how tattooing works. Obviously, you're going to want to have your needles. Um, they're different size needles, so there are something called RLs, which are round liners, and then... Um, RS needles, which are round shaders, so those are kind of self-explanatory. RL, the lining needles are for lining, and then um, the shading needles are for like shading in areas. So the needles are actually um, pretty affordable. They don't cost that much if you're just getting like little boxes of 50 or whatever. Okay. So yeah, what you're going to need is you're going to need Vaseline, you're going to need ink, uh, you're going to need an ink cap, and you're going to need your needles. And then also you're going to need um, preferably green soap to wipe your tattoo as you're tattooing. But I'm using this right now, which is distilled water and alcohol because um, I don't have green soap at the moment. But it's definitely the better option, I would say, green soap. So, and then you're going to want paper towels. So I'm using one hand, which is kind of more difficult. But you're going to want to like kind of pull your skin um, to tighten it a little. I would suggest poking a little lighter at first just so you can kind of get the feel for it. Um, I will do a section and then go over it and then go over it again and just go over the same section a couple times until it's done. So you're going to want to go over the same spot. I go over it like three times. Um, sometimes if your skin is more difficult, like I've tattooed people where their skin just takes ink really slowly and that ended up being like five layers going over the same spot. So it just depends on you and your skin. Um, so just keep going over it until it is like a pure black line. So for tattooing, like I said, you're going to want to pull your skin. Um, so for you, you'll hopefully have both your hands handy because you're not doing it on your arm because that's kind of difficult for a first tattoo. But you'll just like pull your skin like that almost. So for me, it looks like this. That's how I'm doing it. And then how I tattoo is I just poke and then either I lift up really slightly off the skin and move the needle or sometimes I will actually probably more commonly I just kind of like slide the needle like that um, if you see how the ink is like spreading it's because I don't have enough Vaseline on there so you can just put a little bit of Vaseline and that will help the ink not spread like that and you'll just go over it as many times as you need to for the line to be solid done which is super exciting that's what it's looking like I have to shade in the hair and the world so I'm gonna use a 7RS which is just a um, just like the 7RL the round liner where it has seven little needles at the end so does the shader um, but they're just spaced apart further so that the needle can pick up more ink shading hurts a lot more in my opinion than just like line work um, you can be a lot faster with shading and less precise because you're typically, you're typically filling in like bigger areas when you're shading. Okay, so sorry this is ending so abruptly. Um, I finished the tattoo but like didn't record that. Um, so this is what it looks like. This In this photo it's actually half healed so it's not gonna, it's gonna look a little different when it's fully healed and all the flaking is done um, and like the healing process is over. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much how you do a tattoo. Um, there were some questions that people asked on Instagram that I didn't answer so I'll probably just make like a separate little thing answering those questions and then if you ever want to see um some of the tattoos that i do i my instagram is 